created this look right here from the look what you made me do taylor swift music video so this is like i'm pretty sure like the third look you see where taylor swift is in the bath with this makeup look on right here i had so much fun creating this i've done one look like this before i've done one creation before where i did the where i did the perry shout out to my ex video and people seem to really like that so as it was a taylor swift video and i absolutely love taylor swift i thought i'd recreate this i love how like natural my eyebrows look but the eyes and the lips are the main focus and today i even attempted to do the hair which was so hard because it was so hard because taylor's look like she almost had like her natural curls in it and even though i have like naturally curly hair mine is not like that and mine was freshly washed hair so it's all straight so i had to like curl it so i've attempted to curl it and i'm going like way way throwing it back literal like side parting but this is it and i really hope that you liked it please 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 like tag any person in this who you'd like to see it or just so people can see it because i'm so proud of this video and it took me so long to recreate it and i've looked so far into like the pictures to try and get the right colors and everything so thank you so much for watching and i really hope you liked it and without further ado let's get on with the video so starting off with for this look i can obviously see like her eyes are obviously probably like the main part the eyes and the lips are both quite bold but then the skin's obviously like she hasn't got any highlighter on or anything so i'm just gonna literally do the base and then i will do the eyes and then the lips so starting off with the base so starting off with the base i'm gonna prep my skin and to prep my skin i'm gonna be using the body shop vitamin e so literally just spray this and then that will this will, and then this will help get like a glowy but healthy looking skin so Taylor skin is quite pale in general and this foundation is quite pale for me so i'm going to use this one today this is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour foundation and mine is in the shade and mine is in the shade natural rose i'm just going to shake it and apply it straight to my skin and i'm just going to buff this in So that is foundation done and next up I'm going to move on to concealer and for concealer I'm going to be using the Lasting Perfection Concealer by Collection in the shade Lemon. This shade is extremely light for me but Taylor skin is obviously light. I'm obviously trying to create the whole look so I'm going to make my skin look a lot lighter. So the shade 1 is going to make me look extremely lighter. And just apply this in a large triangular shape underneath your eye so it looks really brightening. So this does look like a lot of concealer, but this blends out really nicely and looks like nothing at all when it's blended out. So I don't know if you can now quite notice, but my skin looks a lot lighter and a lot more now like Taylor's. So now to set that powder so it looks matte, I'm going to be using the Collection Press Powder in the shade Ivory. This is extremely light and will match the colour of my foundation and concealer. I like to pack this one quite heavy and then buff it away. I've left the powder there for now because although I want my makeup to be set, I still want it to look quite glowy. So I've managed to keep that look with applying a bit of powder, but not too much. Next up is contour and bronzing. Taylor definitely wasn't contoured, but definitely wasn't bronzed too much either. So I'm going to apply a little bit of Hula by Benefit just on my cheekbones and temples. So I can see it's literally just the tiniest amount. So I'm going to apply a little bit to the brush because it's quite pigmented and just sort of like 
sculpt my face so it looks more like Taylor's. Our face shapes are nothing alike, but I'm just gonna try. So as you can see, not too much. That's probably it. And then I'm just gonna take a bit of bigger brush and blend that out. So that's probably it as far as I will go. That's it, that's as far as I will go because it's definitely just not, she's just really not really that much bronzed. And then repeat to the other side. Yeah, that's it again. So there we go, to the temples. I then definitely noticed that a lot more focus were put onto the blush and for blush I noticed it was definitely a very coral colour, not at all pink. So I'm going to be using the MAC Modern Mandarin blush which is from the MAC Vibe Tribe collection. Just basically use a coral one but this one is the perfect shade. I'm using again this same brush, applying quite a lot to the brush, tapping off and I'm not going to take as much of a light hand but apply a bit more. Pretty sure Taylor was wearing no highlighter in this look because the main focus is on the eyes and lips but I just want to add a little bit of highlighter but I still think her skin does have a little bit of glow so I'm just going to be adding some of my Matte Nutcracker Sweet Highlighter which as you can see is quite like golden coloured and I'm just going to add a tiny little bit to my cheekbones. So literally you want the smallest amount here, definitely tap off the excess and then just, just add a little bit so it doesn't look like you've got highlighter on but you definitely want your skin to look healthy. And then just use the same brush you used for blusher and sort of blend it in. So Taylor hasn't got a lot in her eyebrows at all in this look, but she's definitely got something to give them a lot more of an arch. So I'm just gonna be using my Gimme Brow in the shade three, just to spike them up in the right direction and definitely give a little bit more of an arch. Just take your, I would recommend using a brow gel for this look because I feel like the gel will definitely help pick up more of the hairs but still give a subtle look. I'm, I'm taking a bit of the product off, comb it from my brows. Spiking upwards. Keeping them natural and emphasizing the arch. If you feel like your eyebrows do look a little bit too dark, then maybe just use your powder brush over the top to just lighten them up a bit so they do look a bit more like Taylor's. So there we have the skin and the brows and now we're going to move on to eyes. So when focusing on this eye look I definitely noticed that the whole eye is definitely black but there's quite a lot of like metallic and sparkle there. The look is definitely black so you don't want to go straight in with the black otherwise it will look like you've got a black eye. So you're going to want to use a transition shade. The transition shade I'll be using is Ragamuffin from the Violet Voss Laura Lee palette. But using the shade Ragamuffin and Mama Bird, mixing them together, tap off the excess and just apply a tiny amount as a transition. So that is all the transition we'll be needing today and now we're gonna go straight on to the black. Now I looked in my collection and tried to find a palette which I feel could work for everything we're gonna be doing on the eyes and the palette I found which would be perfect for this look is the Naked Smoky palette. If you haven't got this palette then don't worry you can use any other palette then you can use any other black eyeshadow you find to create the look very much similar but I just thought this palette had such a good colour for the inner corner highlight Taylor has and definitely the black on the lid. We'll be using a black marker for the whole lid and then applying a bit of the darker black at the, at, from any other palette from any other palette that you may have. This look is definitely like sort of this de look is definitely quite high up and winged out so I'm first of all going to be taking a flat shader brush using the shade Black Market and, and sketching out whereabouts I'm going to put the eyeshadow. So this is what I managed to come up with for the shape of the eye. As you can see, it does look a little bit different because mine and Taylor's eye shapes are completely different. I have a lot more hooded eyes. So where hers would usually go up, mine actually sort of like goes down. So that's why it looks a little bit different, but I'm gonna be blending it out now so it'll look a little bit more similar. Now adding any black eyeshadow you have. Wind wiper motions, just back and forth. 
So next up, get a flat shader brush. This is the Blank Canvas E34. Get that shade Black Market onto your brush. Spray some setting spray onto the brush to help it stick to the eye. And apply from the inner, just in the mid part of the eyelid. applied that shade you can really see the look coming together and a lot more black but you're still going to want to blend it out so once again take that fluffy blending brush and blend it out now when studying this look i also saw the inner corner had a bit of metallic silver on the inner corner so the reason i actually used the naked smoky palette because it had some lovely dark shade shimmers on the inner corner and i'm going to be going in with the shade armor to the inner corner and apply straight to the lid And to finish it off, Ted has got quite an intense inner corner highlight. So I'm going to be using the shade High from the Naked Smoky palette once again. Because this shade is quite pigmented without it. Moving on to the lower lash line, I can see that Taylor is wearing eyeliner. So I'm going to be using the Crazy Sexy Coal Eyeliner from Soap and Glory. So applying this straight to my waterline. This can be as messy as you want because we're going to blend it out. This looks super messy. And then using quite a deep quite a dense brush to blend it out. The great thing about this eyeliner is that it's so blendable. And right at the inner corner you can see that the highlighter will go straight in. So I'm going to be using just a bit more of that shade High from the Naked Smoky on the inner corner. The last step for eyes is mascara. I'm pretty sure Taylor was not wearing lashes in this, but quite a lot of mascara. So I'm just going to be using some of the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. And you can see Taylor's got quite a lot of bottom lash mascara on as well, so I'm going to be applying a lot to the bottom lash line also. This mascara is great because it's great at separating, but also great at lengthening as well. So that is the eyes done. So that is the eyes done and all that's left now is lips. So for the lips, Taylor is obviously wearing her signature red and I thought, it, and I was found this so hard to find like, I don't actually wear red that much. So I don't have it in, so I don't have a huge collection of reds. Now that I'm applying this, it's a bit too pink. None of these shades I've tried have turned out to be the right colour. So I'm, instead I'm going to go in with a matte and then go over with a gloss. So the matte I'm going to be using is the Sleek Matte Me in Ryoja Red, which is my favourite red. So this is the perfect red, but it's a matte, so it's obviously got to dry. So I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then I will apply a gloss. So next up to achieve Taylor's glossy red lips, I'm gonna be using the Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss by Soap and Glory in the shade Riot. So that is now the finished look and next up is hair. So for Taylor's hair in this video, it's obviously her old school typical curls. Hers obviously look natural. My hair is naturally curly, but I have just washed it and dried it, so it is straight at the moment. So I'm just gonna curl them. So I'm just gonna curl my hair with my GHDs. I'm gonna try and do like beachy waves so they look a little bit more natural. that when it's curled, you want to bring it over like this. So the messier the curl, the better, because it will look more natural. I'm literally just curling it all over the place. It's sort of parted and swept behind the ear. So I'm going to sort of, so I'm going to tend to like sort of like mess it up the curl a little bit as I sort of grab each bit of hair and tie it behind the ear. But once tied behind the ear, my hair is not long, but it's not short. I'm going to bobby pin it. very securely but then pull it out a little bit so i'm now just going to attempt to hike back but leave some of the front bits down so i can sort of 
ring literally so that I can sort of curl them so it looks like tailors. So just like this really so this is the finished look i really hope that you liked it i had so much fun recreating it if there's any other looks from the music video from the music video then let me know down below please 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 share this on twitter and tag people in it like maybe tag please try and tag any tutorials in this if you see this but this is the finished look and like i said if there's any other looks you'd like me to recreate from the music video or any other music video then comment them down below make sure to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and comment below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye I'm a new soul. I can do this strange